everyone, this is Lisa from K9 Clips, and this is Gizmo, and Gizmo is a Bichon Shih Tzu, and he's about 14 years old, and he's coming for his full groom today, and I'm going to be giving him that. So we will um, get started on that, and I hope you enjoy it. So if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate that. And I do have lots of videos on my channel of me grooming dogs and also just the different things that I come across on a day-to-day -day basis being a full-time dog groomer from my house. So I guess uh, Gizmo here would be considered one of my senior dogs. That's okay. As he is. 14 right now. Got a little bit of build up in there. So we'll just take that out. He does have quite a bit of an overbite as well, which will become more apparent as we groom a little bit more. I'll try to keep you in the keep him in the video, but uh Sometimes I get a little distracted, so I'll apologize now. But, uh, sometimes you'll be looking at my elbow. Or the top of his head, or the bottom of his head. <laughs> Depending on how he likes to move around on us, too. So I'm just kind of deflecting his tongue while I'm grooming here. There's a little bit of mats under there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Gizmo. Yeah, good boy. I know it's hard. Hard work being groomed. So because he does have a lot of matting here, I do like to trim his face a little bit shorter. That way it'll stay a little bit cleaner for the owners as it grows out. It's a little bit harder when they are panting because you just got to make sure you're careful about their, around their tongue. As well. We're just going to trim around his ears here. Okay, bud. I just want to get the hair around the ear canal and then I will pluck inside there. Get them all out. He's got quite long hair in there actually, so that's why it's, uh, I think, a little bit irritating to him when I'm going around this area. So I'm just going to use the tweezers right now. I'm trying to get you a better view, but we'll see how he does. He's up there bugging him a little bit, so I don't know how still he will stay for you guys. Yeah. I'm just going to move it back. I'm going to have to use a different holding technique. That I can 
kind of hold them a little closer to me so that I can have a little more leverage by kind of holding him close to me. I'm going to lower the table a little bit more. <laughs> so his ears are bugging him. I'm going to keep getting that hair out. It's okay. I know. And when I am holding him, I'm just holding him by the back of the head so he can move backwards. But I'm giving that resistance so he can't actually move. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. No. It's okay. I guess no. Giving us both to work on here, buddy. Well, this is what I pulled out so far. You can see it's quite long, and that's why it's bothering him. Yeah, you look so cute there. But you're not being a good boy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, it's no. No. Sorry, buddy, but I gotta get that out. This is a oh, yeah. he is persistence. Because they will tire. Hopefully they'll tire out before you will. No. No. Okay. There we go. All right, so that is that ear. So we had one big clump and another one here. See, that feels better. You know, this can be, as you can see, a little bit difficult and you can tell his ears are irritated just from that hair being in there, but once you get it all out, um, they will do a lot better. So I'm going to have to do the same with this other ear, I'm assuming. The difficulty, as he really doesn't like me going there. Hey. It's important you don't want to, uh, pluck the hair outside of the ear canal um, because it is a lot thicker and it would be, you know, it would hurt plucking that hair out. Alright, so I'm going to try this ear, oh, which he's already resistant to. No, I'm not going to try that. I don't want to put too much. I'm going to try this and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you can see. It's okay, bud. What he does, it's really long in there. I know it's hard to see, but... So it is really long, so that's why it's irritating him. It's okay. I know, it's okay. Get as much as I can when I can. Oh, there we go. We got a nice big clump here. I just gotta get one more, buddy, and we're all done. Okay, hopefully you're able to see that. 
so I'm not sure. So that was that ear, so you can see why he was a little bit irritated with it. His ears actually look pretty healthy. They're not too red, but that hair probably was uh, just bothering him a little bit. All right, so now that I got that out, thankfully without too much trauma to either of us, we can move on. And hopefully you'll be able to see it. Okay. And sometimes that's what happens when uh, you're working with an older dog that's been coming for a long time. He's aware that I'm not going to hurt him. So sometimes they can be a little bit more resistant because they know <laughs> being in a nice, safe, loving home that they can get away with stuff. So they can be just a little bit more resistant to you doing stuff or not listening to your commands, which I think is funny. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on his feet. Just raising the table here. We'll see how he does here. seem to turn his body for me oh. to give you a good angle so. <laughs> any way I move up he doesn't want his foot to be on camera I guess there you go feet are a little sensitive as you can see Okay. They're pretty tricky. He does have some mats in there as well. I'm just trying to work those out. And the same is key when you're grooming your own dog. You just got to kind of wake them out. Um, because of... <laughs> Come on. When, you, uh, when they do this and you stop right away, it just uh, gives them something that they've learned that if they resist, you will stop. So you have to stop when you're ready to stop, not when they're ready to stop. Gizmo! Come on! Hey! Gizmo! And again, this is a typical senior dog. I actually compare them to puppies because, uh, like I said, they're they're older and wiser and know that uh, they're not going to get hurt, so why not uh, try to get away? <laughs> but, again, they eventually will, like puppies, stop resisting, but some of them don't because they're a little bit senile, so... Goodness, boy, you're giving me a workout today. And eventually you'll tire out. Like I said, hopefully before I do. Gizmo, come on! Hey, hey! There you go. 
Good boy. All done. One. Let's see a little bit on his mouth there. All right. Okay, so we'll try paw number two. Let's see how that goes. I know, okay? No. Gizmo, stop, please. He does have some mats in this one as well. Uh, sorry for the top of my head view there. Hope you enjoyed it. So if he does continue to try to lick, I am going to put a cone on him. Just because I don't want his lips and tongue near these scissors. Because they are very sharp. Just you call. I know, it's okay. There's a little bit of a drooler, as you can see, and he gets warm and nervous. He does pant and drool a little bit, so. Get a bath before the bath. Good boy, it's okay. And this really gives your hands a workout when they're pulling like this. So if you are doing this for the first time or just starting out, your hands will be very sore just from holding, even though it's not very hard. Maintaining that same pressure to hold it in place is a, a good hand workout, as you will find out. I do have a, a review on a video that I did with the Carpal Tunnel Institute that uh, I would recommend if you have been doing grooming for a while, even if you're just starting out, to give your hands a little bit of exercise. And it's like a stretching for your hands or yoga. And it works really good to combat your hands getting sore or developing. Um, carpal tunnel, and if you have carpal tunnel, it also helps to alleviate it. So, you can check that video out. And I do have the link um, in that video as well. So, it's just my re review of it. And one more, bud. Yeah, good boy. Okay. Ooh, good. Oh, sorry. Trying not to get my head in there, but this somehow always twisting here. A little hard for me to get in there. Cards gonna fill up, so I may have to pause when I'm gonna do the bath just to save me some video space just so I can get the full grooming on the camera. I don't want it to run out of room, it's giving me a warning. 
but I should have enough to get the full groom on here, but it may just, I may just leave out the bath, just on this one. Okay, it's a little bit better on the front, but still pulling a bit. You can see he's got a, a growth there. Cloth here, so I'm just going to kind of trim around there. Okay, good. Sure, if the back paws are just a little more. Oh, there you got a good view of that one. You can see how full they are of hair. We'll see if he stays a little better for this one, but I'm sure his patience is going to run out. Oh, that's better. You do have to come with this way. He likes to drool on my arm, and it runs down my arm. It's got a, not a good feeling. Hey, no thank you. No, no, no. There's no. <laughs> Come on. It's my gun. some of these videos as you can see here sometimes it's just working with the dog however they'll let you so sometimes you gotta be a little stretched out but but if he's staying nice i'll just try to take advantage of it when i can and get in there 
and hopefully get out soon. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good boy. Okay. That was a good workout, eh? Okay, so now I'm going to comb out his tail and clean up his bum area and uh, undercarriage, as I will call it, um, just before the bath. Comb out the tail first. And there is a few mats in there, so I'm going to use the thinning shears. You always got to make sure you know where the actual tail is because when you're Using the thinning shears, you want to, you know, you want to make sure you don't actually grab any skin of the tail. So you got to make sure you use your hand as a guide to make sure you're trimming where you should be. I'm just going to kind of pull the mats out to the end there, as you can see, and then I'm going to cut all that out so I'm not worrying about trying to comb it all out. You are making me work. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to do it on this side. No. No. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna see how I can get in there with the clippers. To do the bone area. Okay, I'm gonna go down a blade just because he's moving so much. I don't really want to jab him accidentally. 
Now this has to be a little shorter in there. This way I can move it a little bit faster as well. When he is staying still. I know. <laughs> Having a, having a wall to hold them against does help as well. And I wouldn't want him to be able to walk off the other side too. <laughs> His bow. Come on, buddy. Hey, hey. There you go. Hey. This foot here is just a little more sensitive. Okay. Okay. Woo. We made it. We are ready for bath. So I'm just going to pause it here and I'll be right back when we're done getting bath. All right. We are back from the bath and blow dry. So I'm going to start with the number five clipper blade now. I usually like to start from the back of the head and work my way back. Basically on any dog, the face, feet, and nails and ears are always the most difficult part to do on a dog. So once you can get those kind of under control, the rest is fairly, uh, well, I guess, easier in comparison. That's for the dogs are mostly more fidgety. And of course, when you're using scissors or you're in those areas, delicate areas. It's harder to, you know, get control. But since I've been doing it for 16 years now, I know how to kind of see where they're moving and I just kind of counterbalance and keep going. Now he's a little bit fidgety for even the grooming here process so it would be a little difficult if something like that that would be done come on buddy yep no don't like that so again it's just working with them when i can i know you're not going to see this but i do not want to stop there we go and it's just working with them as they will allow you, but you have to keep going. And the younger you can start with them, the better. Because when they do get older like this, they do uh, revert back to the puppy stage. So hopefully you'll have lots of practice by then. Oh, it's okay. Thanks a lot. I know. Okay. You always want to check your clipper blades to make sure they don't get hot.
He's just really sensitive with his legs. So what I'll do is I'll use the clippers wherever I can and then I'll have to probably finish with scissors because I won't be able to get as clean just because he's so fidgety. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You're not going to get the, the full view here just because he likes the twist on me. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a little ticklish, eh? Okay, I'm just gonna switch sides. Hopefully, I'll get a better view from this angle. It's just starting to get warm, so I'm going to switch it out for a cooler one. I always make sure those blades are cool. So I always like to have a few extras on hand that are already sharpened and ready to go. Because it will burn your dog's skin if you're using those hot clipper blades. Especially when they're fidgety like this, because then you're um, you're leaving the blades on when you're trying to get in there, right? So I usually have three pairs on the go of blades. So that when one gets warm, I switch it out right away for a cooler one. So that's all we're going to get with the clippers because he is so sensitive with his legs and feet that I am going to finish with scissors and that's sometimes with the senior dogs or any dog if they're resistant in any area you just do the best you can And get it as clean as you can and I always just explain to the owners that you know I did the best I could and but it is a little resistant so and usually they have tried to groom their own dog so they're very much aware that uh, their dog may be a little more difficult to groom already at this stage. So I'm not too concerned if I don't get everything perfect. Just because it's very hard to do it on him. So I'll just try to come at it a couple different ways. To hopefully get it. You know, but I'm not going to be overly worried if I, I can't get everything perfect. Because he's still going to look cute. You know, 
as long as you're doing the best you can. Okay. At least he let me get his face nice and good, eh? Yes, that's a good boy. Okay, I'm just gonna try these legs here with the scissors. And got ten minutes left to record, so hopefully I'll finish in that time. If not, I will get as close as I can, I guess. Okay. Okay, I think I've gotten what I can get with him. Minus the bath. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And um, if you'd like, please check out my channel to see lots more videos of me grooming dogs. And please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I hope you have a great day. We'll see you again.